beautiful morning to do something stupid. After learning to base jump and completing 21 jumps in about three weeks, we decided to make the 22nd and final jump something special, something only 10 people had done before, the suspension base jump. In a nutshell, it's piercing metal hooks in the skin of my back, attaching a canopy, and base jumping, relying solely on the hooks to hold. And breathe. Oh. What the f are we doing? <laughs> okay, you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, here you go. Nice, bruh. Good job. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that daredevil joins us. Josh, guys, just throw it out there. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's a great question. Uh, I've grown up doing a whole number of different adventure sports. I'm a lifetime rock climber. I've uh, been out and done whitewater kayaking and snowboarding. And when I got into base jumping, we just kept exciting to see what's next in the sport. I've watched a lot of sports evolve, and it's just a calculation of risk. I felt like I could survive this one, and I thought I'd give that a test of adrenaline a little challenge. What's next? Well, there's this piece where I, I think I actually go out and I travel with athletes all around the world and find some of the crazier things going on. Uh, I got a chance to learn about base jumping. This was my 22nd base jump. So I'd started three weeks before. And <laughs> oh uh, I've since uh, met another bunch of different athletes that you know, actually keep pushing sports in all different venues. We're seeing a number, as we get safer with our equipment, we're able to do more. And we're seeing a number so of. You haven't thought about what's next yet, but there's going to be a next. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff with base jumping that's really a cutting edge sport. I've watched uh, snowboarding really evolve around me. I've watched it sort of grow up as a sport. I've watched rock climbing grow up as a sport. And people were just as crazy. Same with mountaineering, people going to summit of Everest. Like that concept was just unheard of until it was pushed forward. So I do not recommend anyone else go do this. <laughs> I do not. The jump didn't hurt at all. What hurt? But, the, the, but what happens when you jump is it draws the skin back and fills <laughs> with air. And so then the thing you have to do as soon as you land, I, I turn towards the landing zone. I get down, I'm like, I'm done, yay! So that's why I'm so excited. And, and then, then I have to get my back pressed and it's sort of very gory blood spurting out. That was the worst part. The, that whole, I was looking at the way that suspension system was on your back. That's why I just say over and over again, like, that is just, that's, you're not gonna do that again, right? <laughs> so, I, I landed and that was the first thing I thought. I was like, I will never do this again.